Well, good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. What I thought we could do is take a look at some of my hunting gear. As an outer garment, I'm wearing my plosh palaka today. And it's serving the purpose of camouflage. It breaks up my outline. It also helps retain a lot of body heat. So it's, it's very warm. If it's to start raining, I've got my rain cape on. But underneath the cape is my secret weapon. This is a little portable hunting stool that I put together a couple years ago. Just opens up. And just like that, you got yourself a stand, a hunting blind. The cape breaks up your outline, you lower to the ground, and if you're using the wind properly, then you've got good chances of seeing game. You can buy these, but this is awesome. I just used some red oak that I, I picked up. I believe these boards are an inch and a half by by half inch. And just some simple hardware. I picked everything up at Home Depot. I got the fabric at uh, Joanne Fabrics. It's an outdoor heavy duty Cordura. And I picked the flannel up there as well. After using it for, for a while, like I probably would have went with something a little heavier duty than the flannel for the exterior bag, but the cloth on the inside is pretty heavy duty. It's a heavy duty cotton canvas. And then I've got some Alice straps on the back. Before using the stool, I was just ground hunting, standing. And it's really hard to not move <laughs> while you're doing that. Game could be watching from just the edge of a field waiting to come out and check things out. And they see the slightest bit of movement, the game is over. So having this stool lets you sit very comfortably very quietly but most importantly it lets you select your site according to what's going on with the day with your wind patterns with game movement if you see fresh sign in between a bedding source and a food source then that could be a really good location to set the stand up so just for example Right up there is a field, food source. Also over there is another field. It's about a hundred yards away, 200 yards away. And game could travel right in through here. And if I was hiking along and I saw some fresh, fresh droppings, this could be an awesome opportunity to set up a stand. First and foremost, you want to pay attention to the wind always. That is your number one asset or weakness out in the woods when you're looking for larger game. Their hours of activity are right before right before daylight, just just the beginning of dawn until about 10 a.m. and then they bed down for the afternoon until you know right now about 4 p.m. and it gets dark around 6 so you got a couple hours in the morning a couple hours in the evening but your best chances of seeing them are right right at daybreak but you need to get out there before they've got visibility it makes hunting really interesting you don't have to be posted up in the same spot over and over. It's way more productive because you're varying your location. It's, it's been good for me. I hope you guys check it out. Uh, I, I learned about this from Dr. Ken Nordberger. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got a book called The Whitetail Hunter's Almanac. He's up to the 10th edition. It's a gold mine. Highly recommend, recommend you guys checking it out. He's got a website too with a blog. Dude is a gold mine. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're hunting, good luck. You guys take care. Cheers.